And now, the Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Well, good morning, West Texas. It's a very foggy outside this morning. In fact, take a look at the Citibank Sky Tracker showing Interstate 20. Notice how the visibility is just beginning to show very, show up very poorly out there. It's because we have a lot of moisture producing all this foggy type of weather going on outside. Make sure to slow down, use those low beam headlights out there, and be careful while you're driving while you're dri driving around to school or around to work today because it will begin to be on the foggy side of things until around early around late this morning. Rather, you can actually see on your satellite and radar picture all the gray areas uh, an indicative sign here of the foggy conditions down towards the Trans-Pecos also towards New Mexico the basin not looking too bad but you can see starting to form here around the Odessa Midland metro area here as we just saw in that tower cam in fact your visibility as we just saw outside is beginning to uh, show up on the poor side of things you can actually see just to the west of Odessa Midland especially around zero visibility in Hobbs and about 0.3 visibility going on right now around the Pecos area so be careful out there slow down use those those low beam headlines. Uh, today we're talking about that fog as we just saw, just saw the clouds begin to build up as we head into the afternoon today. A slightly warmer day though is in store as we head here for your afternoon temperatures. Dense fog advisory is in effect until about 10 a.m. this morning here for many areas along the uh, central basin or southern basin rather. Trans Pecos and Mountains also Eddie Lee County here for you as well which goes into effect, into effect for you until 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. But for the high temperatures today 33 is what I'm expecting low temperature to get down to and that's actually going to put us a couple of degrees above the average of 31. 54 is when I'm expecting that high temperature, and that's going to put us uh, still around below average for this time of the year, which is 59 degrees. Current temperatures across the basin, 36 in Odessa, Mellon, 30 in Snyder. We got 37, 40 in Wink, and 41 that current reading down towards Fort Stockton here for us this morning. Your day planner does show these temperatures steadily warming up. We are going to be warming up to about the uh, 40s by around noon today, and 55 by noon, and or 55 rather by four. A lot of clouds here as well before temperatures begin to drop down into the 40s by around 8 o'clock this evening. Southeasterly winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. As far as the rest of the high temperatures go, we got the low 50s here in many locations in the northern basin, 54 today around Andrews, and about near 52 in Seminole. Central Basin also checking in with temperatures in the low to mid 50s today for our highs, 54 in Odessa, Millen, 53 in Penwell. And we got highs generally into the upper 50s along the western sections of the Pecos, but down towards the 50s around Terrell County, 51 around approximately for you in Sanderson and also the mountains a little bit cooler higher elevations giving us some cooler air 48 today around Marathon. Here's a look at your model because we do expect a lot of clouds uh, right now this morning thanks to all that fog out there. Now we expect the fog to lift as we approach the late morning still clouds hanging around across the basin as we head into the afternoon hours thanks to a mid-level disturbance tracking its way through. The clouds will begin to clear though as we head into tomorrow so I do expect a lot better here in terms of the weather improving as far as the sky can conditions go, it looks like we are going to be checking in pretty good here, especially over the next seven days. You can see that I do have sunny weather returning Friday and the weekend. Temperatures warming up into the 70s outside until a cold front arrives on Friday, and that's going to drop us down all the way into the 40s, and then warming up until about 57 on Tuesday with sunny skies returning as well. Stay up to date with us here at Big 2 by downloading that Your Basin Weather app. Even if we're not on the air, you get everything, hourly forecast, weather radar, your seven-day forecast and watches of warnings, you'll be the first to be known about that as well. Mm -hmm.